What's up y'all, it's John. I'm here to do a quick video on a breakfast I make uh, that I think is both nutritious and delicious and uh, it'll take good care of your body. So a little back background, um, many of the breakfasts I've found have been high in carbohydrates. Um, this is because typically it's the first meal of the day and you're trying to um, you know, increase your energy levels quickly from, from not eating throughout the night. And so this can be problematic for folks that are trying to either lose weight or gain muscle. Um, for the folks trying to lose weight, it has um, high levels of carbohydrates, which will quickly turn into sugars and then quickly turn into stored fats. And then for folks that are trying to build muscle with it being low in protein, you're not getting the protein that you need for the muscle building. So uh, this is a really yummy breakfast that uh, is high in protein. It's got, got carbs in it too. Uh, but higher than what you'll typically find. So um, first of all, I want to give credit to um, the folks that uh, I learned about this recipe from, and that was, I found it on uh, bodybuilding.com, um, and it was Chris Geffen. Uh, you can look him up on bodybuilding.com, a uh, great little recipe. Eggs, egg beaters are awesome. Um, low calorie, low cholesterol, no fat, and it's made from real eggs, and typically I use about half of uh, half of one of these egg beaters. <clears throat> I wanted to show you on the yogurt uh, the differences in protein content. So here's a typical yogurt that you would find on the store shelf, and uh, for 170 gram serving size, the protein is five grams. I want to compare that now to Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. Um, a little bit larger serving size here of 227 grams, but look at the protein content, 23 grams. Um, so that's roughly three to four times as much protein as you would get in a, say, a flavored yogurt. So we're definitely gonna go with Greek yogurt. Switch over here to the fats. Um, love coconut oil. Um, it has now replaced all of the um, uh, butter sprays and oils that I use in my diet because it can use, be used to um, uh, grease the pans of everything. It, it has a great flavor to it. It adds to the flavor. Um, and it's a healthy fat. So coconut oil, extra virgin uh, is, is what you need to look for in the store. Good stuff there. <clears throat> Another fat are um, almonds. Sometimes I use sliced almonds. Sometimes I use whole almonds. Just depends on what I have. I love these. These are cocoa-covered co almonds. They're just uh, really delicious. And then uh, flaxseed, another uh, good healthy fat, fat to mix in with it as well. Okay, so we'll move over here to the carbs. Um, regular oatmeal here. Gluten-free I will add, by the way, uh, if you're into that. Um, and then lots of different dried fruits. So we've got apricots, pineapple, and then several different craisins, which are cranberries that are infused with different flavors. We've got blueberry infused, um, cherry infused, pomegranate, and then a few raisins as well. So this just adds carbs and gives flavor. And then um, I'll just add the sweeteners here, and I just got to put a plug in for stevia. Um, amazing stuff one of the greatest inventions of all mankind. Um, it's a zero calorie sweetener um, that is dosed in the same amount that you would dose uh, sugar in in your recipes. Um, it, it is expensive um, for a large bag, about that much, which I wish I had right now, um, is about $8 um, the store. So, and then you also have uh, Truvia and other baking plants. Okay, so how I start out, I start out with the coconut oil. And the house is a little warmer, so it's a little bit runny, uh, but sometimes, you know, it's, it's about the consistency of cold butter. So um, I just get a little uh, spoonful here and just use the same spoon that I eat with and just stick it right there in the pan and then turn on the oven. And uh, that gives it a chance to melt off the spoon. And uh, while, that's, while that is melting off the spoon and heating up in the pan, that's the time that I use to go get all of the ingredients out of the pantry. Okay, so now that the 
coconut oil is melted, we just dump in the egg beater. And I, like I said, I use about half of one of these cartons. And the next step is just dumping in the, the oatmeal. And I usually just get enough to kind of cover it. You can adjust it based on your carb intake. And before too much time goes on, I really like to mix, mix it all with this spatula here and just get it all kind of one, one consistency here and uh, start mixing it in the bowl. So we got fruits, scoop of flaxseed. <coughs> Few almonds. Give this another stir so it's nothing sticking yet. Yogurt. And this is just about the right amount here. I usually go with about a cup of Greek yogurt. Again, the the Greek yogurt, as is most of most everybody knows, is absolutely terrible tasting, and that's why we have the uh, the sugar or the stevia there. And again, I recommend the, the stevia over the sugar for sure. Oops, my lovely assistant isn't going to appreciate that I just spilled on her beautiful stove. All right, almost there. the stove and in she goes all right last thing is the uh, the sweetener just stir it all up okay so this is the finished uh, product kind of looks like oatmeal I, I suppose um, you mix the cold ingredients with the warm ingredients and it ends up fairly um, uh, lukewarm, I'll say. Um, so let's give it a taste. I don't know if I got enough sweetener on it. Perfection. So right out about five minutes is what it took to cook this meal. Hope you enjoy it. So that's it. That's a wrap. Enjoy it. I think it's a great recipe for Akamtari and My Secret Accountability. I'm John Gregory. Have an awesome day.